Hey there guys and welcome to a new Black Ops 2 Gold Gun video. Today we're going over the highly requested AN94. First of all, let's take a look at the gold camo with the reload animation. Here you can see side on here looking very nice and even has gold bullets as well, which is pretty cool. Unfortunately, the rail at the top is still like black, I suppose. I don't know if it's plastic, I suppose it would be. Uh, and it's not completely dipped in gold, but a pretty decent looking gold gun. Unfortunately, when you look down the sights, it doesn't quite look as nice, but that can be changed with a sight on it or something like that. That. So anyway, let's talk about this weapon. It's a very unique weapon, one of the more unique weapons in Black Ops 2. It has some very interesting features that I'm sure a lot of you want to know how I think is the best way to use it and uh, make the most out of what it's good at. Now, the most notable thing about this weapon is the fact that the first two bullets come out at a faster speed than the rest of the bullets. Every time you press the trigger, the first two bullets are going to come out at 900 RPM, which is similar to a submachine gun like an MP7 or a Vector. And then from then on, they come out at 600 RPM, which is similar to an assault rifle like, say, the SCAR. So the idea with this gun is if you can get those first two bullets on target, it's an absolute beast. If you struggle to get those first two and you're a bit of a spray and prayer, you're going to struggle. So accuracy is the key with this weapon and the whole loadout that I've got going on that's based around uh, this gun is to do with accuracy and speed. So you might look at the right hand side here and go, Jay, you have not put perks on a gold gun video in a long time. What is going on here? What is different? Well, in this gold gun video, I wanted to make a whole setup, a whole setup based upon a game style, and I've really gone in depth into everything that will go towards making this set out really unique. And as you can probably tell by looking at the perks, it's all about speed, and it was all about being fast, and this is going to really help you be accurate with this gun. While using it without these perks and attachments, I, I used now thought, you know, it kind of feels like it needs to be a little bit faster. It's kind of an aggressive gun, so I want to be able to speed myself up uh, speed myself up. So I thought, what should I do? So as you can see down the side there, first thing I've done is slapped on lightweight. Lightweight will enable you to be 7% faster with all movements. So that's running, walking, sprinting, crouch walking, everything is 7% faster. And as most of you probably know, when you use an assault rifle, you're at 95% of your uh, full speed. So if you were, say, using a submachine gun or a knife, you'd be at 100%. But when you're using an assault rifle, you're 95%. So you're a little bit slower than normal. And using lightweight just just bumps you back up to that, uh, well, it'll be 102%, I suppose, which is very nice. Now, Scavenger is just a perk that I really enjoy. If you're going to go for the ultimate speed setup, you should probably swap that out for Fast Hands. And then I've got Dexterity as well. And Dexterity has two very good functions. First of all, allowing you to aim down sights quicker after sprinting. And second of all, allowing you to mount objects faster. And this is very, very useful. I haven't used Dexterity in quite a while. But then after I've been using it a while with this setup, I really miss it when I go back to, say, Tack Mask or something else. Very, very good. And I can't believe how quick it is when you actually mount mount objects. I think that's the main thing. So pairing that dexterity with the attachments that I've got has really given me an ultimate kind of fast and accurate setup. Because what I've got here is fast mags. You could maybe leave that, but I just think that kind of adds to the whole speed of everything. You know, you're a fast soldier. Uh, and quick draw. Quick draw is very good with dexterity. Quick draw allows you to aim down sight quicker. So dexterity with quick draw is very good. And then when you add stock to that as well, as well as, I mean, think you've got stock, so you move fast or aim down sight plus you've got lightweight so you're already moving faster while um we're already moving faster anyway so combining all of these perks and attachments just gives you an absolute super soldier kind of feel and it's very good for someone who is very aggressive has great reactions and uh, is very good at rushing if you're the kind of player who's not so great at rushing i wouldn't recommend going for this this is for a quick reactions player you know really on the edge of the seat stuff running into any spawns and this setup will do you very well if you're a little bit more defensive there's no real need uh, to go for this setup now, you could actually put these perks and attachments on another couple of guns. It'd probably work quite, way, uh, quite well. Say, for example, the Type 25, a couple of the submachine guns, like maybe the Vector. Uh, but it wouldn't really suit one of the, the assault rifles, which is good at very long range, like, say, the SWAT or maybe the FAL. Both very good at range. But I prefer this setup uh, when using one of the automatic assault rifles or just, a, you know, a submachine gun where I want to be really aggressive. And I tend to find I was doing really well with it. I don't know if you guys have tried this out, but the whole... Whole setup in general is just really good. 
So talking a little bit more about the gun, what's its proper is a little bit more. It has a moderate recoil. I don't really notice the recoil too much, but then on odd occasion, it will kick a fair amount. Like I've said previously in Gold Gun videos, I feel like the Black Ops recoil is a little bit random. Like it's quite inconsistent. So sometimes you'll get a fair bit of recoil, other times hardly any. It's worth saying actually that you can obviously burst this weapon to get that constant 900 RPM and you could put select fire on it to do that but I don't like to put select fire on it because think about it when you're using select fire what are you doing with the trigger you're just constantly squeezing it aren't you in and out in and out in and out now you can do that without select fire on the gun and it will have exactly the same effect so what's the point in using the attachment when what you're actually going to be doing is exactly the same thing and it doesn't really help with recoil too much with this gun so personally I wouldn't use select fire but obviously it's something you can try out when you do select fire it's a two burst uh, because a three burst would actually get you a kill quite a lot of the time so obviously if it was three burst uh, it might be a little bit overpowered but it's two burst well worth trying out uh, I've got the reload speed as average. It feels kind of fast if you cancel reload, which is sprinting out of the reload animation once the bullets are in the chamber or pressing uh, double wire or whatever button you use to change your weapon once the bullets are in the changer. So all around, it's pretty average. It's real, you know, good attribute is those first two bullets that come out the gun. So like I say, with a lot of the burst fire weapons, the key is just getting those first bullets on target. And my setup that I've got here all revolves around that, you know, quick draw, getting your sight you know aiming down your sight quickly which will allow you to be much more accurate i find is a massive key so if you're not good if you don't like some of these perks and some of the attachments i'd say what you should definitely go for is dexterity and quick draw that will really help you up stock maybe you could do without that you know you'll have increased accuracy at range but you might lose out a bit in close gunfights and maybe fast mags you could go without that as well because it does have a decent reload if you actually cancel reload it's like one and a half seconds but if you do the full reload animation i think it's like two or two and a half so if you haven't been can uh, cancel reloading, you should definitely do that. Although most of you who probably watch these videos are used to doing cancel reloading. So anyway, there's my setup with the AR-94. I think it's a brilliant setup. Very good for fast reactions players and people who like to play aggressive. And just a lot of fun in general. Especially if the other team's reactions are a little bit slower than yours. You will absolutely dominate them. So it's something very uh, interesting and different that you could try out. If you do like these videos, please don't forget to leave a like rating. I really appreciate all the support that you guys show especially on this Gold Gun series where I put that little bit of extra effort in to make sure it's quite well produced and something of decent quality for you to watch. Of course, there's a playlist on the uh, top of the screen if you want to check out more of these. And if you're watching on Machine Respawn, be sure to check out my link in the description. Go subscribe over there. I'll see you guys soon.